here's my custom install of backup camera for your RV normally people put them up on the dash I should take this screen down but um, let me show you and they block your view sometimes you try to put them down here and you're looking down um, I tried to fit it in here by the shifter but it was just too tight thought about the suction cup it might be too high so I made a custom bracket and I'll show you that in a minute but you can see the door just clears and it's pretty much my view mirror backup camera mirror and I don't have it hooked up to the trailer but I did just to do the power so let's see here power and there we go little selection power to the camera All right, here's the, the actual bracket. It is basically just a kind of a V-shaped bracket. I put some sponge tape underneath it and I ran those screws right through the hole, uh, right through this kind of crease in the dash. So if I ever have to take it out, there's just two small holes there. Uh, I ran the cord up through the defroster vents are no holes there but you can't see it when you're driving and hooked it up to my aux switches and you can get underneath by just this just pulls out there's four plastic uh, retainers and um, just pulls right out and you can reach your hand right up right up in here boom 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 just put your screws in make your own custom bracket the back is parts that came with the kit and a couple of locking nuts I had and uh, seems pretty sturdy we'll find out on the next big trip stand by backup camera install Dodge Ram 3500